Hey Jules Bliss Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So it is hilarious <laughs> how much my hair has improved since I became a vegan. So this is all about hair people and I just wanted to share my experience with vegan hair. I have a great article and even a secondary article. So first I just want to say that uh, for a few years a couple years ago I was just totally on the typical toxic standard American diet. I was eating toys, which is like a phrase coined by Tani Ra, who is a social media phenom for all things health. And, you know, I was just eating the standard diet and truly my hair was thinning and beginning to fall out. I'm not kidding you. And it was super scary. And I was lying about it. I was like so scared that I was saying that, Oh, I left my hair dye on too long, and, and that's why I have a bald spot. It wasn't about a bald spot. It was literally as bald as my forehead. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, I'm giggling out of tragic tragedy, okay? Um, so I would literally pull my hair back, and down to the scalp would just be spots, like empty spots. It scared me to death. I thought I was going to have to like go see a doctor and say, can you do hair replacement or, or what can we do? And they have all those products, right? And I did not want to go in that direction. So when I first found out about being vegan a couple of years ago, um, I was hearing in the vegan community that once you get clean, you may indeed start losing some hair, which of course scared me even more because I'm like, I can't afford to lose any more hair. But what they were saying was you might lose hair initially um, because it's toxic. So it's just falling out to allow for the healthy hair. Well, I was all in for that. And so I've always had good hair. But like I said, it started to go. Um, I've always been a curly girl. But now this is ridiculous. Okay, seriously. And then also... Um, the length of it, which is totally fabulous. Like my hair is totally coming back. It's actually thick. I've never ever had thick hair. I've had fine hair, which when it dries, thickens or appears to look thicker. This is literally thick hair. Like someone said to me the other day, oh, you're so lucky because you have thick hair. <laughs> I had to laugh and go, wait, thick hair? Yes, actually, yes. I mean, I actually have hair that it's thick. It's freaking me out. It's such a tremendous blessing. And then it's like, you know, I'm at the halfway mark of my life. <laughs> so as I get to the halfway mark, I haven't dyed my hair during this COVID, but I used to because of my, um, just around the crown. And you can see that there's certainly some gray around the crown. I used to have a bunch of gray hair under here. And if you just pulled up a little, you would see the next part of gray hello, where is it? Like, that's what I was noticing. Where is it? Not that I'm complaining or welcoming it, but where is it? It's nowhere. And that is all fruit and vegetables for the win. I am loving that. Oh, uh, so what else? So I was going bald, got gray quicker than most people. Um, my hair was thin. It isn't anymore. These are just like so fabulous, such fabulous benefits. I am loving that. And I do mention Tani Ra, and again, you can find her on any platform, but if you see any of her videos from like two plus years ago, you will see how much thinner her hair was. And if you go back like five or six years ago, you'll be shocked. She had to keep it super short because it was falling out. Like, honestly, she would wear beanie caps, scarves, all these things to cover it. Now, so no. That girl's hair, I mean, if mine literally goes down to her here, hers is already down to there. It's down her back. And like mine, I think her hair is fine like mine. It is super thick and crazy beautiful. Sadly, I could not find a video by Tani Raw on just hair. And Tani Raw, if by chance you catch this and you can tell us in the comments below, I would love you to attach a video if you have one specifically on your process regarding your hair. I did find some videos by Tani Raw on like her daily process because this is literally a $1.99 suave, which thank God became vegan. So this is nothing, no product because of my asthma, like I suggested. Tani Ra is a product girl, all vegan, but she loves her products. She loves her process. So if you're interested in learning about that, 
choose your person and I'll try and attach whatever I can find. But this is what I found right now. And it is from, let me see, I want to give credit where it's due. It's called Grow Gorgeous. So it's actually an ad in some ways because they do offer like some serum for hair. But it is also just good information and I'd like to share it. So it's called Can a Vegan Diet Cause Hair Loss? And this was featured in Veganuary, which is the first uh, month of the year of January, of course, where they encourage people to be vegan for at least that month. And praise God, a lot of people start that month and just continue with it, which is so fabulous. But even meat eaters try for a month. So this is two years ago. So the stats are a little different, but the information on hair is no different. And this is can a vegan diet cause hair loss? Because when I first found out about even being vegan, they immediately said you might lose some hair. And of course, I was so happy that they pre-told me that because otherwise I would have been flipping out even more. Like, honestly, I would brush my hair after a shower and just have a clump and just go, oh my gosh, how far is this going to go? But all of this hair, I can absolutely trust. I know that this is permanent. It's healthy. It's real. I generated it from health and I'm thrilled and I'm going to let it keep going and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so... As Veganuary gets more and more popular each and every year, we're here to answer the question, can vegan diet cause hair loss? For the few who haven't heard of Veganuary, it's basically committing to a plant-based diet for a month of January. Last year, and this was two years ago, 60,000 people participated, 23,000 of which were meat eaters in their usual diet. Whether it's for animal welfare, the environment, or for health and wellness, it definitely looks like veganism is an ever-growing and here to stay. For those who choose to take part, it can be a weight off their minds and their waistlines and an incredible boost to health and general well-being. It's undeniable that a vegan diet can benefit you, but when it comes to your hair health, a lot of us do have our worries. And this is just to clean it up, except for, like I said, there's sort of an ad at the end. So let's see. The main concern. The main worry is the lack of protein. And if this means a vegan diet will cause hair loss. Since hair is primarily made up of protein and iron plays a role in the growth cycle, it makes sense that people are concerned that skipping meat, a huge source of protein and iron in your diet, could have a negative impact on your hair health. <laughs> which I totally get, except for that protein comes from plants. And it's just a derivative in an animal from eating plants. But let's keep going. Proteins are the building blocks for your hair. So your diet should always try to include a wide range of high protein foods in order to obtain adequate proteins for hair cell renewal and nourishment. Because your body requires proteins for your heart, liver and lungs. If your body is lacking, these organs will always get priority. This all means that if your diet is lacking protein, your hair is going to be the first thing to suffer. And this can result in hair loss, which no one wants. Don't fret. That's the second one. Vegans, don't worry. A vegan diet doesn't have to be a cause for hair loss. So if you've been thinking about continuing veganism, post veganary veganuary sorry don't fret as long as you stick to a well-planned diet with proper nourishment and balanced meals full of plant-based protein your hair won't pay the price in fact the main cause of hair loss and damage apart from diet are stress genetics over styling and heat to be fair at best I only blow dry my bangs, so none of this ever gets blow dried at all. Okay, vegan proteins and iron-rich foods for hair health. Need some inspiration for your hair-healthy vegan diet? We've put together a list of protein-rich and vegan-friendly foods to help give your hair a boost. So plant-based sources of protein, quinoa, tofu and soy products such as tempeh, chickpeas, chia seeds, lentils, nuts and seeds, and beans. So I don't know which ones of those are in your diet, but those are all great plant-based sources of protein. Then plant-based sources of iron because you need that as well. 
beets, dark leafy greens such as spinach and kale, watercress, dark treacle or molasses, soybeans, pulses, and almonds. I am not familiar with pulses. One moment, please. Okay, there's no simple answer for pulses, so you can inform me in the comments below if you know what pulses are for plant-based sources of iron. Ah, it's too complicated. Okay, then for those things, let's go back a second. So there's plant-based sources of protein, quinoa. And I think you can actually sprout quinoa if I'm right, because I try and be raw. Tofu and soy products such as tempeh. Ignore the typos in this article. I found like four. Maybe they should hire me as an editor. Okay, chickpeas. And, you know, I can soak chickpeas and make them into hummus um, without actually uh, cooking them or anything. So, you know, that's one way you can do it. Chia seeds, hello. The super power food of all time, live for chia. Lentils, so fantastic sprouted. Nuts and seeds, just make sure you soak them. And then beans, some people can handle them, some can't. But those are phenomenal for protein, phenomenal. Uh, sources of iron, beets, love it. Dark leafy greens, hello, spinach, kale, all of them. Watercress, dark treacle or molasses, I don't go with any of that. Soybeans, I don't know, pulses, I don't know. Almonds soaked occasionally, right? Or almond nut butter, yes. Okay, so then it says, give your hair a helping hand. Sometimes, no matter our diet, our hair can end up a little thin or lacking. That's why we've developed Hair Density Serum to ensure your tresses stay in tip-top shape, no matter your lifestyle. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go with the ad. I'm not going with it, but if you're interested, I will just include this. I thought it was just some really quick tips, which I appreciated. Okay, so Tani Ra is my girl, but... Uh, when I was first getting into becoming vegan, another person I found was fully raw Christina. And I don't agree with all of her stuff, but she has some good things. But one thing is she has hair like down to her knees. I'm not kidding you. And it is just this thick, luscious hair, which she actually calls Mufasa from The Lion King because it's like her mane. But I did find a video of her experience of losing a ton of hair initially, and she will show you pictures of that. And it is a shock compared to what she's walking around with today. So I'm going to include that as a description of this video. I will include Tani's beauty tips. And again, if anybody knows any videos of hers that tell her process, I would love it. And otherwise, I just want to say, being vegan, making sure that you have an adequate amount of healthy fats, plant-based fats, right? So chia seeds, um, what else? Of course, uh, avocado in moderation, um, flax seeds, uh, don't tell me, heart, hemp, hemp hearts, hemp hearts, which are so fabulous. All of those things, if you get an adequate amount, I'm kind of an 80-10-10 girl, which we can talk about another time, you will end up with your best self and hair. <laughs> lots of hair okay my friends like if you like join us if you haven't subscribed let me know down below what your experience is with hair do you have it are you losing it has yours improved on a vegan diet are you interested in changing things up so you need healthy plant-based protein and iron and if you get in your leafy greens and you get in those plant-based proteins, you will certainly have everything you need and nothing you don't. And certainly no animal consumption required. Okay, until we talk again, know that I pray for you and trust that you're blessed.